Defeat 10, 10 dark wizards. Defeat 30 goblins. Gear trait recipe reward. Goblin silver resistance. Dragon hide protector's cloak. Spider slayer armor. Lupus protection 1. Lupus protection 2. Gear trait recipe. Gear trait. Oh, gear to um, improve our gear. I guess we're going to have the ability to improve our gear. They'll probably teach us that eventually. Cool. Okay. Quests. No relationship quests. Completed, okay. Field guide pages. My mouse is not appearing anymore in the screen. Oh no. Gear appearance. Collect 15 field gate pies. Okay. The fact that my cursor disappeared is disconcerting. Okay, I was like, where is my... Where is my cursor? By one. Okay, by one. That'll be by four. Uh, that's kind of neat. Orange Eye of Newt. Although I do... I do like those. Okay, okay. Gold Trim Demonair Ensemble. And... Inventory. Nice, Spider Fangs. Maxima Potion. Their juice is Wigan Weld. Wigan Weld, okay. Capstone, Leech Juice. Maxima Potion and Thunder Brew. Mallow Sweet. Uh, seeds can be purchased from magic meat, can be grown in pots of any size. Mongrel Floor. Tufts of Fear Gather from Fierce of Mongrel's ingredients used as, as part of the Edgerus Potion. Cool. Nice to know. Lupus protection. Special attributes that may be applied to gear once the loom the loom is unlocked in the room of requirement. Traits can be found in collection chests at bandit camps throughout the highlands. Cool. Enemies. Adversaries, metering, or adventures are found in enemy lairs and bandit camps. Throughout the highlands, most enemies have hidden weaknesses against specific spells in your arsenal. Among the quicker of the Rockwoods agents, these witches will surprise their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks. Their powerful Reductor Curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. Okay, I don't have the severing charm yet. Ashwinder Scout. These unscrupulous withers have not mastered shield charms. They are vulnerable to all sorts of attacks. Poe Charts Tracker. These unscrupulous wizards have not mastered shield charms, so they're vulnerable to all sorts of attacks. Watch for their counterattacks. They can catch off guard by casting spells as they recover from being knocked down. Loyalist Assassin. These Ranrock Loyalists have manipulated corrupted ancient magic to grant themselves unnatural speed. Their magical speed in them enables them to escape combos unless they're slowed down with Arresto Momentum first. These Ranrock Loyalist Blade Dash attacks will penetrate common shield charms, so opponents must dodge out of the way and counterattack. Thornback Scurrier. All types of magical spires are quite vulnerable to fire, especially at low health. Fire attacks will ignite the spire while it's low on health causing it to skitter about frantically before it dies. If it takes further damage before it dies, it will explode, hitting nearby targets. When these spiders begin to burrow, Flipendo will rip them to, out of the ground, dealing massive damage. Loyalist Ranger. These Ranrock Loyalists try to keep as far away from their targets as possible and use their crossbows to launch bolts imbued with ma ancient magic. 
While they're preparing to fire, their bolt can be snatched away and launched back with ancient magic throw for a devastating attack. Cool. Loyalist or warrior. Though heavy goblin weaponry is quite dangerous, Expelliarmus will make quicker work of anything they're holding in their hands. Okay. Leaving them only with only their weakest op options. Loyalist Sentinel. Masters of both offensive and defensive magic, these Ranrock Loyalists go, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most powerful witches and wizards. These Ranrock Loyalists use corrupted ancient magic to increase the strength of all nearby goblins. While they're building up magic to imbue into their companions, Bombarda can disrupt and unleash its, its in, a it in a devastating uh, eruption. I love how, you know, there's so much strategy to each of these creatures. Thornback Ambusher. These spiders try to keep as far away as possible and shoot webs to incapacitate their prey. While they're airborne, they're, their unprotected bellies are exposed, making them vulnerable to follow-up damage. The Thornback Shooter. These spiders prefer to attack from a distance by spitting acidic venom. Striking with a fire spell as it prepares to attack with acidic venom will ignite the spider. Thornback Matriarch. These monstrosities rears up as it is about to strike its target with a powerful bite that breaks through shield charms. The most obvious defense is to dodge out of the way, which is what I've been doing. As it rears up, ripping it downward with Descendo will catch it off guard. Pensive Sentry. Created to protect the secrets of ancient magic, these animated statues strike hard and fast but are vulnerable to a variety of magic. Disarming them is a useful technique, but the ancient magic that animates them also form a new weapon to keep them fighting. Pensive Sentinel. Ancient magic ensures that their weapon will always reform in their hands after being thrown or disarmed, granting them the ability to attack from afar indefinitely. Armor Troll. The troll's forehand and backlash club swing pattern attacks will break through common shield charms. Dodging is the safest defense. Distance will not protect against any angry troll as it will tear up chunks of earth and throw them at its targets. After the troll slams its club to the ground with both hands, flipping it upward with flipendo will have greater leverage than usual, sending the club in the troll's face for a powerful blow. Hitting a troll with its own boulder will catch off it off guard and make it more vulnerable uh, to follow-up attacks. Dark Mongrel Keeping as much distance as possible from Dark Mongrels will make dealing with them relatively easy. If it gets in close, its attacks can be repelled with shield charms and then a counterattack with any mastered spells. As it begins to charge in from afar, blasting it backwards with the Pulso is particularly effective. Nice. So many different enemies. Cosmetic alterations apply to your wands via the gear menu. War hand wand handles are primarily found in collection chests throughout the world. Okay. Nice. Conjurations. Decorations and gameplay station. Yeah, we already know about these conjurations. Nice, nice, nice. Appearances. Cosmetic alterations applied to gear via the change. Appearance. Option the gear menu. Appearances in this list are rewards for special compliments such as challenges and quests. Let me check out some of these appearances. Plants, forgeables, and enemy drops, and... Revealio pages. Yes, there's a ton of these all over the place. All the things. All the things. Cool. Let's try to clear. Part of me wishes there was like a clear all button. Ooh, a lucky leprechaun hat. I actually would love that. Increased storage for gear. Ah, nice. I'm not sure how many slots do I get. We'll find out. That's helpful. That's nice to have for the Merlin Trials. Out of... Oh, nice. We have a whole out of 24. Nice, 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 nice. I like that. An extra four slots. Very good. Um, let's take a look at appearances. I like that mauve lock scarf. Um... Pretty cool. I like that look, actually. Looks like I'm a tourist. Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. 
Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What I have on right now is pretty cool. Ah, ah. Oh, that's cool. Goblin made helmet. Zonko's cheap prankster hat. A top hat for unmatched uh, prankster of Hogsmeade earned by collecting field guide pages in Hogsmeade. That's actually kind of fun. I look like Willy Wonka. <laughs> actually, this makes me look like Willy Wonka. <laughs> That's not bad either, but okay. I think I'm going to wear this just for now because, oh my gosh, that's kind of funny. I'm a fan. Oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> oh, so fashionable and I love it. I am so fashionable. Oh my goodness. You ran all those goblin loyalists off. I can't tell you what a relief that was. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? I have a lot of things I need to What do you dump. have for sale? What can I help you with today? You need to empty my pockets. Happy to give you all of this. There you go, 5,000. Are those galleons? Are those galleons? I don't know. I hope to see you again sometime. Okay. We got so much stuff. I wonder who lives here. I don't know. But. We are going to do the, yeah, astrolobe one. Whoever that one is. Dive in the Black Lake to find the Astrolobe. <sighs> Willy Wonka to the rescue. I Actually, it would make total sense for Willy Wonka to be a wizard. I would not put it past him. Okay, so can I dive? Apparently I can. Willy Wonka is making his way to the astrolobe. Press... Am I walking on water now? I'm walking on water now. Okay. Can I... Equip gear that you found for separate to loop of Yikes. Leviosa. Okay. Well, I guess I can't really cast magic underwater. So, I'm just gonna wade in the water. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Wow, you can just pinpoint it. Somewhere in here. Nope, not yet. Down here. Ooh, there, I found it. There's other things here too. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I mean, what luck we found it just by after the third try, what are the chances? All right. It might have, kind of would have been more interesting. Maybe there'll be a, a one something later, but to actually have a deep sea dive or deep lake dive where you actually need to either get jillyweed or need to do a bubblehead charm or some other magical method. All right. Cool. Find a dive too terribly difficult. 
though? Not really. It was actually relatively simple. Like, way easier than I anticipated it was going to be. And not as Hello, terrifying. Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Uh, for a price. I did, and I'm keeping it. No, 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 no. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank yeah, you not again. bad for someone who can't and swim. I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. And has very severe, has not severely, but pretty much a, a deep, a deep fear of deep water. Oh, okay. But I still want to embrace the Willy Wonka ness of everything, so. Okay. Nice. I have a lot of moolah. Sword alphabet. I have six. Okay. Nice. All right. I think I can now go back. Let me go back and which quests do I want to do? I want to now. Professor Hackett's assignment. Yeah, Expelliarmus. But I also want to go back to my common house and might as well um, Hogwarts map and do. Is it? No. The great, the grand staircase has Slytherin common room. Yeah, let's go to the Slytherin common room. If any of you hear anything up like in the background, my children are, are playing, so just as an FYI. Oh you know what? Where is the um Yeah, the chest. I might as well drop off some tokens. Another house token for the house chest. Two. Three. Four. This Dedalian keys challenge is coming along nicely. Yeah. I'm only halfway. Only halfway. Is anyone in the common room at all? Okay. Everyone's asleep. And of course, if I go to any of the other rooms, nobody's going to be in the bed. Me. Except for the prefects, I guess. Thinking if I if I do end up in looking in the bedrooms, nobody's actually going to be asleep, which I think is a little bit submersion breaking. Yeah, nobody's here. Nobody's in the common room. Nobody's in the bedroom. That is a, that is one other like critique, and I, I, this is all very like nitpicky, honestly, at the end of the day, because they did so much. So many other things in the game that is so right, which means that it is a little, it is a little jarring when you end up with a, a place that's so vibrant and full of life and characters, and then when it's nighttime, it's like, well, nobody's in the common area. They're probably asleep in bed. Nope. Nope, they're not. Nope, they're not. So... Yeah, definitely something that leaves a little bit to be desired. So I am now going to go to the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom and go find, go see, let's see if we can get Expelliarmus because I love Expelliarmus. I'm wondering if that is... Um, Happy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You can advance time by pr uh, by accessing the map and pressing F. Oh, I did not know that. Does it say what time it actually is? Oh, 
Okay. Wait here to advance a day from day to night or night to day. Yeah. During the day. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Such Unspeakables as? work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. Hmm. Hey, that's a sensible way to look you at things. You do seem to have come to terms with things rather well. It's a matter of perspective. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was an exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes. Well, it's funny as you say that. I tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> That's yes, exactly Professor. why I'm here. Nice. I just leave the classroom to come back into the classroom. Nice. He does look a lot, a little bit like Percy, actually. There's my boy, Seb. Nice. Return to Professor Heck. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yeah. Professor, I like completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay yep. close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Nice. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Spelliarmus. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. So, Expelliarmus is this one. Disarm wands and weapons from most enemies who wield them. Also deals damage to all enemies, even if they do not carry a weapon. Cool. So nice. Um, they say it's always nice to have. Let me move this around. To have a control, a force. To have a force, a control, a damage, and a utility. Um, a spell around. So I think I'm going to try to do that as much as possible. What does this mean? Is this other? Can I put other things? I can't put other things in this slot. That's annoying. Okay. Petrificus Totalis. Essential? Revelio. Protego. Stupefy. Ancient Magic Throw. Ancient magic. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast a devastating ancient magic attack that deals massive damage and breaks shield charms. Cast with X when you see the prompt over an enemy's head. Ancient magic throw. Summons and then throws a special environmental object at the enemy. Particularly useful for breaking through shield charms. Cast with Z. Petrificus totalis. Powerful enough to bind most enemies permanently, but most dangerous foes will take some damage and then quickly break free from the effect. Sneak up undetected to an enemy and press F when prompted to cast. Okay, so maybe that's what I didn't do before, is is do the Petrificus Totalis. Okay. And then Alohomora 
Grant access to a variety of locked rooms and containers throughout the world, but requires magical prowess to perform successfully. Cast with F when prompted near a valid lock. Interesting. Okay. Protego. Stupefy. Okay. All right. Back. I'm going to... Expelliarmus, you seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Nice. I love the wand work. The wand work animation. Okay. Expelliarmus has a pretty s relatively slow recharge rate. That's all good. Herbology class. I'm excited for a new class. Let's go over to the herbology. Um, yeah, the central hall. Super pumped for this. Nice. Whoa, that dragon is moving. So cool. What about Natty? What are you talking about, Maddie? My girl? My girl, Natty? Okay. I thought Professor Black would get rid of all the muggle born students. Too much to hope for, I suppose. It's a wow. difficult to put someone like Black in charge. Perhaps now we can stop all these disgusting mudbloods from ruining the school. Wow, this is from a Hufflepuff and a Gryffindor. Like the Blacks. Wouldn't want riffraff running things. That's what my mother says. Oh my goodness. Wow. Our families have been friends for centuries. I'm glad there's a Slytherin in charge of the school. Willing to make the hard decisions. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but yikes. Yikes. This is so pretty. So pretty. Revelio. Fluxweed stem. Nice. Travel broadens the mind. Titany leaves. Titany is good for healing, I know. Oh, this is super cool. Hey, Seb! I'm in so many classes with Sebastian. I'm not at all complaining. Is this Poppy? No. Is this Poppy? Oh, Poppy is over here, I think. I think that's Poppy. And I think that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Natty. And where's my... We have not met our... That's... I forgot his name. But... The Weasley nephew. And... Mallow Sweet. Oh, yeah, I'll get some Mallow Sweet leaves. Could use that. Ominous is here! I love Ominous! I really wish I had a chance to get to know Ominous more. He's super cool. I like him a lot. Also a cutie. Um, I forgot this character's name, and I don't remember this character's name. But I love this. I love her outfit. Although she reminds me of Poison Ivy. Okay. Let's do Herbology, our, my first Herbology class. Nice. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, Willy Wonka. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> Sebastian's like, that's my man. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. 